Yo, what is good, fellas? Hope you boys are all having a fantastic day. Today, we're talking about the most feared promo, or you could also call it the most feared season. Now, if you guys haven't been staying up to date or you haven't, you know, been playing much Madden 25 recently, season three is going to be the most feared season of Madden. Now, this is not something EA usually does when it comes to tying in their field passes with seasonal promos. But the fact that they're doing it is one of the coolest things EA has decided to do in, like, a while. We also know it's going to be the most feared season because of this Season 3 XP token. You guys can see underneath it says Most Feared. This was, like, really early on in the field past, like, level 20 range. So the fact that they were letting us know early means that they've got some good stuff coming for Most Feared. I like to call myself one of the biggest fans of seasonal promos in Mutt. It's the best time of the year regarding that and Ultimate Team. So you know what? We're gonna predict what I think we could see in Most Feared. I also am currently away on fall break for school, so if we do get any updates, I'm sorry, I am pre-recording this video. If there is anything major, do not worry. I'll drop it down in the comment section. But let's just hop into my Most Feared predictions. First things first. We're gonna get that 6v6 mode day one of Season 3. Now, if you guys, you know, missed this, we got our first glance at the 6v6 mode over here in solo challenges. There was a big Tyreek Hill glitch. It was a big thing, but out of all of that, we did get to see the 6v6 mode. We also saw that that 6v6 mode is essentially ready to go live. All EA has to do is pretty much press play and it should be in here. I think that will be here October 17th when we see Season 3. Season 3 being the most feared season, I think the first 6v6 mode, which they said when they announced it is going to be dropping with big promos or big things, most feared is the first big promo. I think the whole mode could be centered around, you know, most feared, Halloween theme field, Halloween type things. We'll talk about that more in a minute. But I think they're going to be some really good most feared style rewards. When I mean most feared style rewards, I mean most feared packs, most feared players, most feared tokens that you can use to upgrade your players. Most feared is one of the first big I'll call it big four or five promos of Mutt. It's all the holiday promos. So most feared, November, which we get harvest, winter, or December, we get zero chill. Almost forgot the name of the literal biggest promo. I'll throw Blitz in there and then Easter. And I could very well see the 6v6 mode be used to implement a new form of gameplay for these big five promos. I also am expecting to see a secondary or new currency only focused on for most feared it could most likely be something called like candy corn or something you know candy centric they do this every single year for most feared and playing this 6v6 mode could be a way to actually earn this candy corn it also could not be called candy corn but we're calling it candy corn for today's video with this candy corn you will be actually able to spend it in the store there should be like a candy corn store similar to the season ticket tab there will be one I guess on the right side of it, I'm guessing, that'll say candy corn and you guys will be able to come in here. I'm assuming you'd be able to buy rerolls, so like think back to like breakout rerolls, but like most weird rerolls, as well as some special packs. Now, what will those special packs look like? Something they brought in for Madden 25 this year are these boomer bus packs. I think you'll be able to buy these boomer bus packs with whatever candy corn currency we do get. And that'll be big. I think having another way to come in here and make coins for free, if they do it the way I'm thinking of, like, you know, win a game of 6v6, get like 100 candy corn at cost, let's say 1,000 candy corn to buy an 82 plus overall boomer bus plaque. And doing that, I think that would give people, one, a reason to grind their game out, and two, a way to make a lot of coins. Also within that 6v6 mode, which like if it comes, I think there will be a big prize at the end. So like a free champion or a player that is only attainable by grinding through this 6v6 online or offline mode. There's a lot they can do with that. And there's definitely potential for this to be one of the cooler things they bring in for the most feared season, most feared promo. It's going to be good. I also do think most feared will be at minimum four different drops. I was looking back at years past and it's been four to five drops of different most feared things. We also do always get some form of content on actual Halloween. Now, usually that content is just new special offers, but in years past, we have gotten some pretty cool things. 
whether that be like Halloween LTDs that go live at like 10 p.m. on actual Halloween or just LTDs that go live Halloween morning. We also do get this one cool gameplay feature usually where they make players absolutely massive. So like think back to, I think it was like Madden 16 is the one that pops best in my head because of Madden Mobile. And like, you know, we were gripping through Madden Mobile, what, seventh grade Halloween, obviously. And like my Rob Gronkowski was 12 feet tall. I know they brought it in the mutt for years past. And I don't know if they brought it back last year. Maybe they did for like a certain, they definitely did for a certain mode because there were strategy items. That is something they will bring back most feared strategy items, similar to the season of boom strat item where like you got a significant absolute juice down here in the promo boost tab right here. I don't know where it is in strat items. It's right down here where you guys see the program. We will get a most feared one, but what they do for most feared, you put one of these in and they make your player like massive on the field. And uh, I'm going to basically confirm that is going to come with most feared this year. The fact that they do have the promo strat slot. I mean, yeah, it's, it's going to come. It's one of the coolest things. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about after this video, go look up massive players during most feared ultimate team gameplay and you'll uh you'll be in for a treat i also have down here i think we're gonna get a lot of free cards a lot of ways to make free coins similar to what we talked about during the 6v6 mode all right but now onto my player predictions first up we're gonna get a marshawn lynch every single year we get a marshawn lynch beast mode now i know beast mode has an 86 overall aka card let me find him down here i don't care I actually do not care. I am basically this, if there's one that I can confirm, we get a most feared card for a player that already has a card that's like decently solid. Marshawn Lynch, he will get an upgrade. Now, obviously this card is still an absolute stud. This is literally his most feared card art. He's getting another card. Marshawn Lynch should be a set champion. One of the most just fun cards in Madden and he always gets a most feared card. Another player I could so easily get a card, Terry McLaurin or Scary Terry. Some things they do for most feared in years past. I don't know if they're going to do it back this year, but they do like Scary Fast, Scary Tall, Scary Strong players that are just like really good at one thing the fact that terry mclaurin's nickname is scary terry he's getting a most fear champion and uh he will be on my team ray lewis is due for an upgrade and i think during the most feared promo ray lewis will get an upgrade like i said for the terry mclaurin section they do drop like scary fast scary strong scary tall i don't know if they're gonna do that they haven't done it in a few years where each week comes in with a different group of players but Ray Lewis is just scary, scary. Like, if you want to go watch Ray Lewis highlights, you will not be wanting, you would not want to run an a grab run and have Ray Lewis just sitting there for you. He always gets most feared cards. They're always pretty good. And, uh, yeah, it's basically a lock. Another player I think is basically confirmed to get a most feared card if he doesn't get an upgrade before then will be Lamar Jackson. Yeah, it's just basically something they do every single year is they make one of these quarterbacks with the most feared promo super fast and uh what is lamar jackson a super fast quarterback you guys can see here on mutthead what a throwback of a sight 91 speed 92 excel on his 90 overall madden 24 card yeah lamar is going to get a most feared champion for sure now as for the tight end position in the most feared promo i think we have to see a donald parham pretty sure he got a card last year in madden 24 actually i know he did it wasn't as good. They haven't really had that throwback, like, absolute stud Donald Parham card. But if you guys can think back to Madden 22, I believe, the kickoff promo Donald Parham was the most feared card you would play in Madden pretty much every time. You just chuck it up there, and it was just a disgusting, over-the-top headpiece Donald Parham animation. He, he is most feared. He is going to get a card. If Randy Moss doesn't have an upgrade by the time Most Feared drops, I could very well see Randy Moss get a Legend Most Feared card. They don't only drop current players when it comes to the Most Feared promo, so Randy Moss could very well get an upgrade. Now, he does have this 85 overall Legend, but by the time Most Feared drops, you guys are probably seeing this video October 5th, 6th, or 7th. So, Randy Moss will be out for almost two months, and no upgrade, it's one of your biggest names, EA, and I could very well, we could get a stud of a Randy Moss card for most feared. I got two more player predictions, next up, Derrick Henry, yes, he's got an 86 overall, but similar to Marshawn Lynch, it's either gonna be Marshawn Lynch, 
or it's going to be Derrick Henry. They both have 86 and 85 overall cards, so who's going to get the upgrade? I don't know. Regardless, though, he he is most feared. I also could see a world in where CMC does get the most feared upgrade. The fact that he hasn't played so far this NFL season, like, it's going to be hard to give him other cards, and uh, I mean, obviously, he'll get cards later down the line, and I'm not complaining, because last year, how many CMC cards did we get? But they could drop a CMC most feared player because CMC is also that guy. But, uh, if there's one player I don't want to play against, it's, uh, it's Miles Garrett. Now, he does have this team builder champion who was an 87 overall, but uh, this guy is scary. Uh, shout out Mason Rudolph. He's terrifying. I could very well see a world and uh, where Miles Garrett gets a most feared card, and uh, yeah, yeah, fellas, that is everything we got today. Obviously, I was just throwing names out there. And when those fear does get revealed, if we hit, well, holy shit, basically him. Let me know down below who are your most feared predictions. Also, I did mention this earlier, but again, I am still away. We'll be back Tuesday afternoon with your normally regular scheduled Moshi video. Not sure when you guys are actually going to see this video. More than likely, like Monday afternoon. But until I get back on Tuesday. I'll catch you boys back here with another banger. But until then, peace. Have a good one, fellas.